So we have broccoli, we have spinach, and we have cabbage. Do you like cabbage? No. Do you like broccoli? No. Do you like spinach? No. As you guys know, we love to spend time with our kids. Rai Rai helped me and Aiden plant this garden. Gosh, what's it been, about six months ago? Yeah. So we're gonna do a little update to the garden because Daddy has not been in the garden in a couple of weeks and it sure as heck looks like it. Right, Rai Rai? Are you ready to help Daddy out? Yes. So while Araya doesn't really want to try cabbage right now or broccoli, I will say having a garden helps them at least think about it. She tried a cherry tomato this year. Unfortunately, she wouldn't try the jalapeno. Uh oh, my arm wants in the mouth. Oh, your fingers are stuck. Do you, do you want to use it? Okay, like this. Put your thumb in like that. Maybe we skip the glove. Okay. Do you want to yeah, skip the glove? I won't wear mine either. Oh, glove. Oh, whoa. Then we can get our hands dirty together, okay? Show me what's in your bucket. A diggy. You have a shovel, okay? Boom. You have another shovel. It's a spade. You have, what's this? A digger. That's a rake. A yep. rake. Oh, guess what this is for? A look. Whoa, look at that. Look how, look how close you can get. A, a look. That's a, that's, yep, it's a looker. Okay. So clearly in California, we're lucky to be able to garden uh, close to year round. But, you know, even if you're not in California, you're in one of the colder Ooh. states, it has, whoa. You can still do a winter garden. Start a little bit earlier and be able to have food out there. Or in some cases, you can even build a little kind of a pup tent type situation. And you can have uh, with plastic over the top and still even have a couple of pots with some fresh vegetables or fresh herbs in it. It just makes the world a difference. Can we just dig? Yeah, we can just rake. This? You just want to rake? That's all you want to do is rake? I want to rake and dig. Wow, look at my tomatoes, Rai Rai. <sighs> so right now, I would love your suggestions on some of the things we can do for the winter when it comes to all these tomatoes I have left over. I love to make salsa, I love to make uh, spaghetti sauce and, and chili in the winter, but I'm not exactly sure how to free them. My thought was just to blend them up and stick them into a bag and vacuum seal them and stick them in the freezer. But if you have ideas, suggestions, I am all ears. Right, right, right? Yep. Yep. <laughs> A lot of people think it's hard to grow a garden. It's really not. First of all, you have to have good soil. So you can go to the store. If you don't have good soil, just go to the store and get some. It's, you know, For a bag, it's a couple of dollars. It's worth it. And you just till that soil. Take a, a shovel, even like she's doing, and put the soil and mix it in with the ground you already have. That's a huge start. Then find plants that are easy to grow first. So for example, squash. The key also is water. You got to make sure you don't, don't overwater and underwater, but it's an easy way to tell is by the leaves. If the leaves are starting to wilt, obviously it needs water. If they start to turn yellow, generally that means they're getting too much water. What's crazy is I remember gardening with my grandma and my dad and my mom. So I, I remember being out as a young child. So being out there at her age, even we, they used to put the baseball game on the radio, or music on the radio. And so I grew up being out there with them and watching them do it. So as I got older, I wanted to do that. I also tasted the difference. Even if I didn't like the vegetables or didn't want to admit that I liked the vegetables, I tasted the difference in the vegetables. Um, as a child and as I got older and began to enjoy vegetables even more, I understood there's a significant difference when you grow them yourself. I don't see any broccoli yet. You don't? No. But are you having fun looking for the broccoli? Yeah. Just the curiosity this drives to. I mean, watching Araya look through the microscope and try to, not microscope, what is that called? What's that called? Well, it's called a looker. Sorry. Yeah, a looker. Look over there, look at our peppers. You share peppers? Right yeah. there. This is a big pepper chain. Look at it. It's a banana yeah. pepper. Do you want to try that? No. No. <laughs> Yucky. Yucky. What are some of the ways you guys get your kids to eat vegetables? I don't see any stuff in the Besides pepper. using a, what's that called, a looker? What else do you do? No, uh, what I are some of the cool? see if some, if okay. some things are in Well, she's getting pepper. more curious about the pepper, but what are some of the things you guys Daddy. do at home to get your kids to eat more vegetables? Hey, we have a bunch of different tricks. Tamara loves to hey, talk Daddy. about them. Yes. It's dirty. It's dirty? Yeah, we have to go inside and wash it because it came from the garden. Right, right. What's that? This on the pea. What's, what is that? It's a black one and a green one. What's it called? It's a black one and a green one. Yeah, but what's the name of the pepper? Uh, I don't know. You just said it. Jalapeno. Do you remember how Aiden says jalapeno? What was that? Jalapeno peppers. Jalapeno peppers. You do? How do you say it? Jalapeno. Jalapeno, yeah. Now, I use jalapenos mostly for sauces and salsa. Can I freeze these? It's my first time actually. Uh, Dad, I'm gonna check them then. If okay, you check. Dirty. 
As the first time growing jalapenos in Northern California, I've grown them in Southern California where they can grow year round. What are some of the things I can do, or what are some of the recipes you have that are for pepperoncinis? Um, and can I freeze those in wintertime? Clearly my question is going to continue to be, can I freeze? Parks are great, going inside, watching TV, on the computer, all that stuff's fantastic, but this is free. I mean, where else am I going to get my daughter looking in my ear in the middle of my garden? Let me see your ear. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I want to see your ear. Okay. Oh, thank you, Mary. There's nothing in your ear. <laughs> There's nothing in my ear. There's nothing inside here at all, right? Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Right away, it's our time to tell everybody to subscribe to what? Dowsy Life.